Hey, hey, Facebook family, how are you guys doing today? Happy Tuesday. I love Mondays, I love Tuesdays. It's a fun, fun part of the week for me. All right, guys, well, I'm gonna get into a little bit, hopefully i am got a good connection here. Let me double check my Wi-Fi. Um, gonna get into a little bit of Facebook post that I absolutely cannot stand this time of year. I was gonna pull it up for you guys, but uh, and show you guys some of the pictures, but I have some other stuff that's on, on here that I'm gonna give you guys in this message here. But uh, so you guys probably all can relate. It's that time of year again where kids are going back to school. And I don't know how much you guys know about us, um, and I'm not saying this is what everybody has to do. I'm just telling, this is just our personal decision with our family. But we homeschool our kids, and you know, we're getting a million questions at this time of the year. Hey, when do the kids go back to school? And uh, we actually just tell them that we never stopped going to school, right? Um, because we're constantly teaching them, they're constantly learning. But um, what I'm seeing a lot on Facebook, I'm sure you guys are too, are these pictures, and there's actually been like this viral post of these pictures of these mom and dads, like cheering and being so excited that school started. And it kind of got me going on this little thought process that I'm like, why is everybody so happy that their kids are going back to school? when? And we choose, which I'm not saying it's easy, because homeschooling is what Andrew's been saying a lot lately, not for the faint of heart. <laughs> uh, it's not easy to obviously be around kids 24-7, which my heart goes out to teachers, because you guys are dealing with like 25 of them at once. We've just got three of them. But the point of this is those Facebook posts that people are like cheering that the kids are going to school, and this and that, and I'm like, what is going on here? Guys, our kids, and this is one of the main reasons why we pulled our kids out of school, but our kids are being influenced by, by the people that spend the most time in their lives are influencing our kids. And who, are, who is spending the most time in our kids' lives? Now, the teachers, thank you for teachers. Because it's, if it wasn't for you guys, you guys, I mean, but you guys are not the parents. And that's, that's a huge difference. And I understand single moms and struggling families that, you know, that I understand that side of things. But we cannot be upset with our kids, and this is where I wanted to swear, but I'm not gonna swear. If they're acting like jerks, we cannot be upset with the school systems or this or that if they're acting that way. And we can't be so excited because they're going back to school because you've only had them for a few months during the summer breaks. Listen guys, your kids are being influenced by people all day long. And who, in, in how much time are we actually spending as parents, oh, as, par as parents with our kids? So let me give you guys a little quick little study that I read. Um, it's actually out of this book, Evangel Panewer. Come on, come on, work with me here. Uh, please pull up. All right, cool. All right, in May of 2010, an article in the Independent, in the Independent, a newspaper and website out of the UK, which cited that the average family spends 40, 49 minutes together each day. 34 minutes is spent with the kids, leaving 15 minutes of wife and husband alone time. 15 minutes, guys. And this is, the, this is that season where we're going, everybody's going back to school, new schedules, you know, sports, and all of that. And our kids are being influenced by who they're around. So who are they being around? They're not being around us, because this says right here, 34 minutes a day that, we're, that we have that time, one-on-one -on -one time, or, or family time as Americans. This is 2010. I guarantee you, it's six years old. I guarantee it's less than that now. Or are we always in front of devices? So, so guys, stop with those posts that you're so happy to, that your kids are gone. Because if we want to bring up kids that are not little jerks, we need to be spending that time with them and being the influencers in their life and not giving that job to, our, to the teachers. Now the teachers are doing a great job, but it's 25 on one, it's 30 on one. They're not gonna be doing the job that you could be doing. So instead of, and, and I'm not against school, I'm not knocking school or any of that, but listen, school is like eight to three, right? Let's stop signing them up for every stinking thing that, that puts you not around your kids. 
Your kids need you. No, they do not need you to be their best friend. They need you to be their parents. They need guidance, they need wisdom, and they need to be brought up right. I did share a video from Pastor that was getting into about thugs and how, you know, this police thing and how he's supporting the police, and I do too. But guys, these are products. These kids are, because, are products from not being around their moms and their dads. They're being influenced by other people. People are influencing them that are around them. So guys, let's, let's bring it back to the basics. Now you're gonna, you can tell me and say, James, I'm sorry, but I have to work. We have these extra jobs. We have this extra thing. Grandma and Grandpa can step in. Oh, wow, I got crazy color there. And Grandma and Grandpa are amazing, and they're awesome, but they're not the parents. Grandma and Grandpa's job is not a parent's job. And guys, stop giving that responsibility to them. They raised you. Their job, grandparents' job is to love and spoil and do whatever the kids want to do. That's not our job. So, so let's stop pawning our kids off to Grandma and Grandpa to, to raise, because they're not to raise them. We are to raise them. So guys, so back to the scenario, and this is actually, if you guys ever read this book or, or want to read a book called Evangelpreneur, it talks all about life and money and, wow, my light's getting crazy. Life and money and time and what we're really spending our time with every day and, and really, you know, where our treasure is is where our heart is, right? And how, it also talks about in here, you know, and I can give you a lot of marriage advice in here, you know, that 17, 15 minutes that spouses are, are spending time together, that's... And do you ever hear of work wife, work husband? That's a reality because they spend more time with their spouses at work, not spouses, but people, more time, more quality time, the best of their day, the morning, the, you know, the afternoon, not the, the leftover time that we get with our spouses. But that's a whole other conversation, and we will definitely get into that because Andrew and I are going to be getting into a marriage. Um, we're going to start doing a marriage series and just give some, some, some truth, some reality. And we, <laughs> we're even talking about talking about Sex. Woo. Don't say that, right? But uh, <laughs> sex and money, both we didn't think our parents had, both they had, right? And nobody talks about it. You don't hear about it at school, you don't hear about it at church, you don't hear about college, but it's, it's the reality, guys. So, what, what are we going to get out of this? It's the beginning of the school year. First of all, Stop the excited pictures about your kids going to school. If you're going to be excited, be excited that they're, that they're going to school, but let's be excited when they come home. Let's see those pictures. Yes, my kids are home. And then let's, 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 let's do some pictures of us spending time together, having fun together as a family. And, and let's, let's bust that myth of 40 minutes a day that we spend with our kids. Let's bust that out. Let's put the cell phones down and let's bust it. Because our kids need to be influenced by you and not by everybody else. Did you know... I think the age is like, by, by the age of 10 or 11, most kids are already, that grow up in church, right? They grow up in church, just like our kids, growing up in church. By 10 or 11, they're already pulled away. Why? Because they're spending time with the people who do not, that, that's, their influencers in life are not in church. So let's not lose our kids at 10 or 11, right? We don't, we don't want them to get separated a little bit at this time so that when they're 16, 17, 18, making those life decisions, life-altering decisions, that they're not beating up on some cops, right? <laughs> All right, guys, I love you. I said this whole thing with a smile on my face because this is some real topics, and this is, this is truth and reality. Back to priorities. Our kids don't need to be in 100 sports. They, the percentages of them going pro are very small. They do need to be around you and the love and the guidance that you're going to give them. All right, guys, I love you. Sorry if this was harsh. I gave you a smile the entire time. But just think about it. If this, if this makes you think just a hair, that's all, I, that's all my goal is. So, guys, have a great day. Let's rethink our priorities. Sorry, I keep ending this, but I don't end it. Rethink our priorities. We say that God's our top of our priority, our family, you know, our spouse, our kids. But when we look at it, where are we spending most of our time? Not in that order. All right, guys. Love you. Let's think about this. And let's have a great day. Take care. Bye.